Yeah, it, it was. It was a back end of my career, and it was against Australia, and there's all the history of England not winning here for God knows how long. Now, your side hasn't lost here for 75 years. What is it about Lords that inspires Australians? Oh, it's just a special place to come, I think. Um, you know, the history in the game and everything here, and we have got a very proud record here, and hopefully we can build on it this week. England comfortable. England in a really good position, leading by 521. We got in a position where we, we should have won. I managed to get a few wickets, and for me, personally, it's probably one of the best I've ever bowled. And I also knew that I'd never bowled this well again. You ran in yesterday hard. You didn't look like a bowler on his last legs. Yeah, his uh, appearances can be deceptive. Uh, you know, I've had some treatment on my knee before this test match. Yeah, I'm constantly working with a physio and the doctor. Um, but yeah, as I say, it's the last, well, three after this one. So I'm going to give it everything. I'm a little bit stiff in the knee today, but you know, it'd be good to get out there again and try and run and take a few more wickets. He knows it as well. He knows that this is when he's at his most dangerous. This is a perfect opportunity. What a time. Last test match innings at Lords. Oh. It's in the air to Gully. Lintoff's the man. Oh, guys, gone. Gone, yes. And side edge and gone. What a start. Lintoff again. Oh. Can't leave those alone. I was a bit self-indulgent, to be honest, with the celebration. And I stuck my arms out and I went down on one knee and milked the life out of it. There we go. There we go. The king is struck. Andrew Flintoff has his five-wicket haul. He has the adulation of his team and of about 25,000 people around this historic ground at Lords. Because I knew this was the last time I was playing here. I knew that that was it. And when I put my arms out and shut my eyes and nodded my head, I just wanted to soak it all in. I wanted to hear Lords that one last time. I wanted to feel it, I wanted to sense it. And I wanted a memory that I could take with me for the rest of my life. And I managed to do that. Um, and it is one of my fondest memories as a cricketer. Um, one getting the chance to play at Lords on so many different occasions as a lad from, a, from Preston, you never think it's going to happen. But two to have some success that can never be taken away from you, yeah, it's all right, isn't it? <laughs> on the honours board, I'm, I'm on both of them. And I say it every time, I shouldn't be on the 100 one. That'll do, that's the 100. And it's been a highly entertaining one. I got 100 in a losing game. Anybody's name who's on that honours board in a losing game should take it down. It should be England wins, maybe a push a draw, but it shouldn't be. Um, so I'm, I'm not that proud of that one. And the five, for, yeah, of course I am. It was beating Australia, it was winning, it means something. Um, and then I was reminded, there's another one now, isn't there, where you painted a few names of one day hundreds on. Yeah, but it's gone all the way for six. Freddie Flintoff has a hundred. And I forgot all about that till someone pointed my name. But that was a losing game as well, so you can you can paint over that with pleasure. Yeah, it, it is nice, I suppose. <laughs> They're going to be up there forever, aren't they? And people look at it and say your name is nice. Um, but the five for me is a lot more than the runs. Yeah! Hold him! Swan takes the final wicket. The Lord's voodoo comes to an end. First time since 1934, England beat Australia at Lords, and the celebrations begin. An emotional moment for Andrew Flintoff. The last time he will play a Test match on this great ground, he will be full of emotions. He'll be holding back the tears at the moment. He's been a big man for England and we won't see him on this stage in a test match again. What a way for him to end. Five for 92. Such a fitting way for Andrew Flintoff to play his last test match at Lords. Full house, England versus Australia. He's led the way, he's the main reason that they've won this test match with the ball. Great five for 92. 
Getting a standing applause in the crowd. A well-deserved Andrew Flintoff. You're a beauty.